How are you going? This is my pool. And this is a frog. It's not meant to look like this. It's dead. And this is an eastern water skink known for their love of water. Also dead. And no, I'm not murdering them. They just keep drowning themselves and I have no idea why. So today, I'm gonna make a little robot lifeguard to save them. Okay, first I need to figure out why they keep drowning. And I think it's because the pool has these slippery tiles on the side. So when the striped marsh frogs and water skinks jump in and then try to get out, they can't grip their slippery fingers on the edge. So they get tired and drown. Unlike this guy, the Perrin's tree frog that I'll often see doing leisure laps in my pool. And they never seem to get stuck as they have these suction cups on their soggy feet. But I reckon it's still good to get them out quickly as the chlorine can't be good for their skin. Ah, oh, dude, come on. Oi, mate, I'm trying to save you. Um, stop. Thank you. Come on. No. So the most practical solution would obviously be for the frogs and lizards to use today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. I've been loving Jonathan Van Ness's great class on self-care who taught me how to invest in myself, find joy in life and reach enlightenment. And now I can finally float on water. If only the other lizards and frogs had learnt this. Do you have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography and illustration, to graphic design, freelancing and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. So check out the link below and enjoy their ad-free premium classes. The first 1,000 people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Or I could go with the second most obvious option and make the other frogs and lizards little suction cup shoes so they can also climb up the slippery tiles. But they didn't want to cooperate. <sighs> then there's my third option. And the simplest, to just make a ramp ladder thing that floats on the water so they can climb out. But there's a problem with this. These pool pavers are hot really hot. So hot that I was able to cook a kangaroo steak on them. But unlike Julienne over there, The last thing I want is for a wet, tired frog to crawl out onto these hot tiles and get roasted. And then there's the feral cats in my yard, which I have seen waiting in these bushes for food. And there is nothing they love more than a fried frog. But I think I can get past both of these problems by making a flipping device that shoots the frogs or lizard out of my pool into the safety of these bushes. And I reckon an easy place to start is with something that usually harms animals, a mousetrap. If I just cut these things off here and put them here, then bend a metal flap and put it here, I now have a reverse mousetrap. And instead of smushing the animals when triggered, it now flings them away. So I tested it on this frog. Whee! And it works pretty well but I wasn't sure if real animals would actually trigger it. So I left it out at night with some food on top to see what would happen. I have tuna in my eyes. And at night, this hungry guy showed up. And I'm not sure if it was the camera's frame rate or the strength of the catapult, but the cat seemed to disappear. So it's definitely strong enough for the frogs. But I'm beginning to realize a problem. This device only works once and then I have to reload it. So unless I have hundreds of these floating in the pool, which would make swimming quite difficult, it's not really gonna work. And also if the frog climbs into this bit and not on top, they'll just get squished. So I need to come up with something that auto loads and is safer. And I think I've got a good option right here. My pool cleaner's exhaust, which is extremely strong. So all I need to do is create a little switch thing that turns on the water when the frogs or lizards are in a certain spot, squirting them out of my pool, which means I need to figure out how to detect a frog. But lucky for me, they are always wet. So I think I can use this moisture sensor and this box of random plumbing I found on the side of the road. <coughs> That's definitely poo. 
and after fiddling around with the pipes, glue, and heat gun, I created this, which plugs into the high pressure outlet directing the water up to this ball valve. Then once a frog climbs on top of this grippy pyramid, it triggers the sensor, turning on the valve, making the water shoot out from underneath the frog, launching them safely into outer space. And this sensor is controlled by this Arduino, which is inside this container to keep it dry. But just to make sure it's 100% waterproof, I also used your mum's nail polish to paint all the electronics, which will stop it short circuiting. See you tonight, sexy. See ya, honey. Okay, let's go test it out. So I attached it to the wall, which was way harder than it should have been, as I kind of forgot that the attachment was underwater, meaning it was really hard to screw on. And then the box I made doesn't seem to be waterproof. So then I tested it first with my wet finger, which successfully triggered and turned the ball valve. Now for a test with the soggy lizard and the water turned on. And it does trigger the sensor, but besides that is horrible. It doesn't want to stay upright and dunks the electronics in the water and then only manages to shoot the lizard a foot in the air and not in the direction I want, which is very disappointing. But at least I finally have a poolside bidet like I've always wanted. Okay, new plan. I ditch the water propulsion idea and make a super strong automatic reloading catapult that floats on the surface of the pool and flings 10 frogs a second over the neighbor's fence. So I just banged a bunch of wood together, stole some code, borrowed a family spoon, attached some servos, some pool noodles, and finally attached some elastic. And now I've got this, a moisture sensing automatic catapult, which floats on the surface of the water using these pool noodles, which I also cling wrapped to make extra slippery, meaning the only place the frogs can climb up is the arm. And when they do, it triggers the sensor, which stretches the elastic and then fires and then automatically reloads into position for another frog or lizard to climb on top of. Not too weak. And at first I tried powering it using an exercise band, which worked, but was not very powerful. So then I tried some hand spear rubber and my little servo motor wasn't strong enough to tension it. But then I realized I could help it out by stacking elastic bands on the other side. And now test with support elastic. Come on. Yes! Come on. Beautiful. That was so much better. It works well and is the perfect distance, but I still want to make it stronger. So I put on another spear rubber and more elastic bands and... <laughs> I don't know if you would survive that. So I went back to one spear rubber and took it down to my pool for a real test. So close, come on. 
Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, subscribe and check out my other videos.